Karnataka Congress's lawmaker Mohammad Haris Nalapad, who remember is accused of beating up an injured man at a restaurant on Saturday in a brawl, has surrendered today. Now, remember, the Chief Minister Siddharamaya had ordered strict action against this Bengaluru legislator, N.A. Harris' son, for thrashing this man really badly. Why? Because he had an injured leg on the table. Nalapad is the General Secretary of the Youth Congress in the Bangalore district. He's now been expelled from the party for six years. Let's go across uh, to Nehal. Nehal, yesterday, uh, this, uh, this, the accused father had told reporters that, you know, whatever his son, whether it's his son or an Ahmadmi or anybody else, he will make sure that his son is held accountable. These sounded like very strong words, but they were ringing hollow because the authorities or the police said they didn't know where this young man is. He's finally surrendered. So what action are they going to be taking against him? See, the biggest question was that why did the police not book him for IPC Section 307 means attempt to murder. And this is what that has triggered uh, uh, the confrontation between the JDS, the BJP, and the ruling Congress Party activists. And they were all confronted, uh, confronting outside the uh, Kaban Park police station. Now, under, the, un, under pressure, uh, police have now registered, uh, uh, included IPC Section 307 also, and why IPC 307, Section 307 was not included in the FIR because of this reason. The, the SHO of Kaban Park Police Station has been suspended. The ACP of the Jurisdictional Police Station has been transferred. And now the case has been uh, transferred to the city crime branch for further investigation. Now the general perception is that police somehow tried to save him, uh, uh, tried to book him under bailable section so that he could get bail from the police station itself. But now three, uh, IPC 307 means attempt to murder case has been uh, in, included in the FIR. So now it will be very difficult for him to get the bail. Now he will be from here, what, the, what a senior police officer told me, that will be taken to the jurisdictional uh, local court. And there he will be produced before the magistrate. And now the magistrate has to... Uh, to decide the, the next course of action, whether he has to be sent to the jail or he is going to be granted the bail. But in such situation, we have seen that uh, uh, in such cases, uh, easily bails are not granted. So now it will be very difficult for uh, Nalpat Harris, the accused, to get uh, bail. Uh, and uh, see, not only uh, Nalpat Harris, but Others were also involved in that brawl, as and even in the FIR and the complaint, complaint also, their names have been mentioned. Uh, what are, we have come to know that four accused have also been arrested by police, and uh, Ms., uh, and Nalpat Haris has surrendered. So still, there are seven to eight of accomplices as per the FIR and the complaint who are still at large, and police teams have been formed to nab them.